If you have a Mac, there are a lot of unique, amazing browsers that can give you completely different ways to interact with the internet and helps you become more productive. So in this video, I want to talk about the cool browsers that I found for Mac. Watch until the end because the last one is crazy and also my favorite. So Sigma OS has been around for a few years now, but I was surprised to see how much it has improved recently. Personally, I love the design and the interface of this browser. Unlike most browsers, it has a vertical tab bar, which you can hide anytime if you don't want it to take up so much space. But this is very useful to organize tabs that often get super messy in a normal browser. You can create different workspaces for different tasks or projects. What I really like about this browser is the way it indents pages automatically, so you can make a kind of a tree structure, which is easy to navigate through. Split screen is another cool feature. There are many things you can do with it. You can of course put any website in there to see two pages side by side, and the pages that you put in there will be shown in the vertical tab bar. This is nice because you can open them anytime quickly whenever you need them. So you can have Spotify to start listening to music or your note app to jot down things fast. But they recently added this AI feature called Ask Iris. Like ChatGPT, you can ask it any questions or have it summarize the current web page explain something or fix grammar errors. But what's interesting is that you can change the tone and the role of Iris so you can customize how it talks to you. I think this is really cool because most of the AI assistants on browsers will let you customize them in this way. And these pages, Iris and everything else can be quickly accessed from the search menu that you can open by pressing space. I love these single key shortcuts. You can archive pages with just tapping D on your keyboard, move the current page on a different workspace with M, and memorizing these shortcuts takes time, but once you do, it feels really good to be able to do all this without needing to use the trackpad. You can try Sigma OS for free. It's a great web browser, and I think you might like it too. Arc became one of the most popular browsers for Mac. Many people use it now because it's fun to use and really useful at the same time. It has a vertical tab bar where you can pin your favorite websites to it, as well as create multiple spaces for different projects or purposes. And you can put any website to the split screen so you can view two pages at the same time. You can split the screen horizontally if you prefer. Um, so if you're using a second monitor or a big screen, this can be really helpful. Arc also recently introduced some AI features called Arc Max. So now when you hover over a link, it will give you a summary of the web page in a few seconds. And pressing Command F, you can ask AI anything about the page you're on, which is helpful when you're reading a long article or want to quickly find a specific piece of information. Then hitting Command Option G will let you start a conversation with ChatGPT directly, but you need to be logged in to ChatGPT first. So it might not be as smooth as Sigma OS Iris, but what I like about Arc is that it's not just a browser, but also a productivity tool. You can take notes while watching a YouTube video or reading a website or even create a whiteboard where you can put pictures, notes, and links. You can share them with other people or see them from Arc Mobile App. The mobile app is great. You can sync the spaces, tabs, and notes. So if you want to be able to see your work on the go, Arc is a great choice. Before the next one, let me talk about Veed, who's kindly sponsoring this video. Veed is one of the most advanced AI video editing tools out there. If you need to create videos for your business, school, your YouTube channel, or just for fun, this is a perfect tool for you. What makes Veed special is that it comes with a complete toolkit with AI to help you make professionally looking videos. You can record videos and edit them all within this app. Editing videos is hard and time consuming, but since Veed comes with pretty clever AI, you can just let it do all the hard work for you. My app Absolute favorite is this magic cut feature, which automatically cuts out retakes, mistakes, and awkward silence. If I did this normally, it could take hours, honestly, but this saves me so much time. Then after that, it can even remove unwanted background noise and make your videos sound great with just one click. So even if you record with your phone or webcam, feed can make your videos sound perfect. And what's even crazier is their eye contact correction. Even if you look at the script a little bit while recording, feed can fix your eye contact so it looks like you're looking directly at the camera, which is really useful. And once you're finished editing, you can export it in any size you want, whether it's for Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok. If you want to make videos but don't have the time to learn how to do it, then Veed is a perfect app for you. It's super easy to use and can help you get your videos looking great in no time. You can try Veed from the link in the description or just scan the QR code on the screen. Thanks. 
Okay, Sidekick is another great browser that is available for all platforms. If you're a fan of the standard horizontal tab bar at the top, then this is great. Sidekick lets you have quick access to your favorite tools like Gmail, Slack, Notion, and uh, ChatGPT. You can pick the ones you like to add them to the sidebar. And like the other browsers, it has split screen to work on multiple things at the same time. How it lets you see the essential tools in split view in just a second is really cool. Also, it comes with a simple to-do list. So if you want to simplify your workflow, you might want to give this a try. Okay, finally, Cosmic is a completely different kind of browser. Instead of having a tab list, you have a canvas where you can put all your websites, files, pictures, and notes. You can move them around and resize them as you want. You can also connect them with arrows to make it easy to jump between them. Zoom in and out of the canvas to see all the information you need. But if it's inconvenient, you can pin a web page so you can browse normally. A thing about this is that it tends to get too messy and uh, you lose track of where things are. So you can create different boards, which are called universes for different projects. Project. If you're working with other people, these boards are shareable. Anyway, I love the idea of this browser. It's such a different approach and fun to use. It doesn't let you use browser extensions, so if you're dependent on them, this might be not for you. But whatever you do, like researching, studying, designing, or writing, Cosmic is a great tool to have. Okay, that's it for today. Let me know which browser you're going to use in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And uh, if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next video. Bye.